When we have an unconscious casualty who is not breathing, in the previous video you would have seen me demonstrate CPR. Now we would stop CPR when a public uh, automated external defibrillator turns up. These are very straightforward to use. Anyone can use them and they are a device that will actually get the heart back into a normal sinus rhythm. When it does arrive, we literally just turn it on and then you follow the instruction. Call for help now. Remove all clothing from patient's chest. So sometimes that may have already been done or it's just a reminder to have a bare chest. Pull red handle to open bag. Obviously we're not gonna do that because this is a real one. We'll come on to the training Look unit. at pictures on pads. Peel one pad off blue plastic. Apply pad to bare skin, exactly as shown in the picture. Now that one will just keep repeating itself because we're not obviously going to progress that one forward. But this here is a trainer one. These are the ones that you'll be using when you attend your face-to-face -face, uh, session. We can turn it on. Apply pads to patient's bare chest. Plug in pads connector next to flashing light. Apply pads, plug in connector. First one comes on to the right hand shoulder. Second one just comes down to the side on the left. And with this one, we have to put Apply the Apply pads, plug in connector. That Analyzing one, we have to put the connector rhythm. in. Do not touch the patient. For everyone to stay back. Shock advised. Charging. Okay, so it's getting ready. Stay clear of patient. Again, a reminder for people to stay back. Deliver shock now. Press the orange button now. Shock delivered. Begin CPR. So that hasn't worked. So we come into the center of the chest. I'm trying to keep in time with the B pin. And if you felt that you didn't want to do two breaths, then you just continue doing chest compressions until this machine takes a couple of minutes for it to recharge and it will kick back in again. When you put the defib on somebody, even if you do get them back, you never take the defib off because it's constantly monitoring the heart rhythm. Okay, and as I say, they're very, very straightforward to use. Now, you may have a child, and the definition of a child is one to puberty, so that's roughly 10 for a girl, 12 for a boy, and um, their chest cavities are too small to be able to put the pads on there because the shock's going across the chest and back again. Um, so you may even have a very small adult, in which case we would apply the pads, one on the front in the center of the chest and one on the back in the center of the chest. 